What's up everybody, it's Johnny. Just a quick video today. <clears throat> Got my Red Sox cap on. Getting excited, spring training starts soon. So, if you haven't noticed yet, there's been a release of a new card um, for Jackie Robinson's 100th birthday. They put out a 94 overall card. And it's free to get, all you have to do is go into your January programs and when you're in here, just accept this mission and you complete it and you get a nice 94 overall Jackie Robinson. Um, pretty decent, you know, if you're, if you need a second baseman. Um, obviously, he's got no power, but fantastic speed, huge contact and vision. So, you know, there are considerably better choices out there if you, you know, like, playing some of the finest cards like uh, Lindor, you can move him, or Baez, you can put him there. Um, both will be better choices in terms of just all around hitters, but if you need speed, he's Robinson's definitely a guy to get. Um, let's see, who else? No, <laughs> we're looking at my grind squad. Yeah, I'm still grinding Immortals. Um, strangely enough, that Got to get her done, right? Got, got to do something to pass the time until 19 comes out. What else? Oh, the February programs. So the February programs were released. And again, I want to say kudos to SDS for still putting out content this late in the year. I mean, the 19s due out at the end of next month. I can't believe it's already February. Good Lord. But yeah, it's a uh, 19s due out at the end of next month. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited. I actually was part of the alpha, um, so that was a lot of fun, getting to get some real early access to the game. Um, so let's take a look at the February missions. So for February, you've got your Harper mission. So if you pre-ordered MLB The Show 19, um, you can claim the uh, Hardware Harper card, which is just phenomenal. So if you haven't ordered it and you plan on getting the game and you want a card to add to your lineup for the next couple of months, Harper is definitely worth it. But if you do get them, then when you you get this mission to collect, Har uh, bleh, collect Harper and you go through the mission and then if you get two hits, an uh, extra base hit and a run in the same game, you'll be 65% complete the February mission. Or 60%, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I get 5% because I finished something else. No, oh, I did the, um, I did the uh, flashback collector. So flashback is basically if you've done any programs and you haven't exchanged all those cards out, um, you will have more than enough flashback cards in your inventory to use to do the collections. So that gives you 5%, not a whole heck of a lot of progress, but it gives you some. Um, the rest of them are just your standard, you know, hitting stats, pitching stats, stuff like that. Um, if you do get the Harper, if you do have the Harper card rather, then you only need to do a couple of these. Like, you know, I mean, I have the flashback and then when I do this, it'll be 65% and then hitting stats and I'll be done. So, but if you don't have the Harper, then you have to go through these, the rest of these missions and get the pitching stats, the silver flashback RBIs, live, ser live series hitting stats, stuff like that. So it's just standard grind stuff. Um, rewards. Well, the only one you really care about is at the end. Um, you get your guaranteed finest. So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully I will be lucky enough to continue my streak of no repeating cards. Uh, you know, every guaranteed pack I've pulled so far has been a unique card. So I know I've read and seen a lot of people who you know get like two or three Freddie Freemans or two or three Real Mutos. Um, I I haven't. I've been lucky. I've gotten uh, I've gotten Ramirez. I've gotten Lindor. Uh, Lindor is actually my very first guaranteed finest pack pull from the finest uh, missions. Um, let's see. Who else do I have? I got Bauer. I got Snell, and I got uh, Degrom. So pretty decent selection of cards. Um, you know the, the the pictures are great. The Lindor and Ramirez are absolutely phenomenal cards to get. Um, I'd like to try out Mookie and JD, just as you can guess, I'm probably, as you probably guessed, I'm a Red Sox fan. Um, so I would love to get either of those two cards. I just don't have the stubs to, to go out and purchase them. 
Um, I don't buy any stubs at all. Never bought a stub. Um, all of these stubs, any stub that I get is just from grinds. Um, you know, maybe I'll sell, you know, if I'm lucky enough to get a card, I'll sell it. Um, but I would have considerably more, except I can't control myself every time I get to, well, it used to be 50, but now it's 25, I buy a 50 pack, which is dumb. I know it's dumb. I've never pulled anything all year long. I've managed to pull exactly uh, one, two, two diamonds. I've gotten Clayton Kershaw um, and sold him way back when. Um, and I think I got Paul Konerko was another diamond I got. I think I got him from a pack, I don't remember. Uh, but that's it, that's the only, those are the only two diamonds I've gotten. You know, I've gotten a couple of gold, but the vast majority of my packs have all been four common, two bronze. You know, just, just crap. But it is what it is. Um, I've tried the non-guaranteed finest packs and I've managed to pull exactly zero. That's right, zero finest players all golds, not even a diamond out of those. So I quickly stopped buying those. I think I, I think I bought, le I know I bought less than five and just not worth the price. I mean, even at 15K now, they're just not worth it. Um, so, but the rest of the rewards are, you know, packing, you know, it's just, I'm sorry. The rest of the rewards are you know, souvenir packs, universal profile packs and, you know, random set packs. So that's it. That's all we got there. Um, so stay tuned, stick around. I'm going to work on my next uh, episode of the Battle Royale series. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to go 12 and 0. You check out my other videos. <coughs> I'll put links to them. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Check out my other videos. Um, I made a couple. The first one was the draft in game one, and the second one was games two and three. Ended up losing game three. And it was just awful, my own fault. I couldn't see the ball. I was swinging at everything. And the kid I played, it was just not that good. I should have crushed him. I mean, I, like he didn't even set up his line. I'm sorry, he didn't even set his lineup. But it is what it is. Can't win them all. Um, I wish I could, but I'm, I'm not as good as some of the other guys. You know, you watch some of the other content guys out there like, uh, you know, Rival and, and, and Fuzzy and, you know, Mighty Goat. Those guys are just you know, amazing hitters. I know they say they all stink, but <laughs> they're, they're, they're good. Um, so the format will continue the same way. The next episode will be, I'll do the draft and play game one. And then the episode after that, um, we'll hopefully we'll, you know, win games two and three and continue. Um, if I lose game two, then I'll just, I'll open a pack or something. I'll, I'll rip some packs. I've got a bunch of packs to open, you know, just from doing grinds. I've got some variety pack stuff. Um, so that's about it. So thanks for watching. And uh, can't wait till 19 comes out. Make sure to slap a like on the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more content. See ya.